Yes, Ros for the ball. Well, welcome back. Time for some last 16 action in the penultimate women's series event of the weekend. Outside. And it's a meeting between Norwich's Ros Bulmer and Carlisle's Chrissy Manley. Former Outside. world number one, the winner of many a title many years ago. But giving it a go at the women's series and going up against Ros Bulmer, Bullseye. who had a good run in one of the events yesterday. Bullseye. Bulmer went on to reach the semi finals of the opening event when she lost out to Rihanna O'Sullivan. Bullseye. This for a place in the quarterfinals of this one. And Colin Lloyd is outside, alongside me as he has been all weekend and hopefully will be for the rest of it, Colin. You're not sick of me yet? <laughs> uh, for those of you that uh, obviously you can't see it here, um, Chris has actually got me handcuffed <laughs> to the table. So, yes, I will be here for the rest of the duration of this event. Good to see Chrissy Manley back up there, giving it a go. Class player a few years back. Obviously the, the wife of one dart, Peter Manley. I think her nickname is Two Dart now. Yeah, she it? opted for that, didn't she? 41. The comical nickname, Two Dart. It's part of the darting couple, a rare darting couple, which consists of two former world number ones. Peter Manley is in attendance here in Milton Keynes in his capacity as the carrier of Chrissy's bag, but also as the chairman of the Professional Darts Players Association. 41. Is that why he's been sat in his chair the last couple of days? Trying to look busy with his laptop open in front of him. Uh, you said that, not me. Ross Bulmer, as we were saying off air before, this will be a challenge for Chrissy Manley in this one. It would be an excellent run for Chrissy to get through to the quarterfinals for the first time this weekend. She did have a go at the women's series events last year as well. 135. Almost a maximum in the first leg there for Manley, but she's not got past the last 16 yet. That's the closest she came, losing out to Corinne Hammond in the final events on Saturday. And it was the same last year. 33. One run to the last 16 from the four events in which she participated. So looking for a personal best in this particular series of events. 97. Yes, yeah, she certainly is. I'd say Ross Bulmer will be quite pleased with her performances 49. here. Murph, you know, so she's been throwing some good stuff. We, we spoke about it yesterday, the way she's, she's been through the wars a little bit. Double 19 now for 98. She's back on 160. And she's gained a few scalps and she's dished out a few frights over the past couple of days. And who's to say, you know, if it all comes together, 82. Perhaps she could get down to the nitty gritty end of it all. It wasn't far away in the first event yesterday. Can she take the first leg of this one? 12 scores. Still an outside opportunity for Manly. 20. The double top. 58. And it all geared up, ready to say, wonder. <laughs> no score. Well, she doesn't mind if she goes out in one, two or three darts here, as long as she does go out. Game shot. And it is two dart manly to take the first leg. Yeah, it was a great marker, that first dart. You see they're sliding it straight down the barrel. Do already have one player 16. into the quarterfinals, and guess who? It is Fallon Sherrick. 4 0, she beat Tracy North to get there. 
<laughs> he will play either Amanda Harwood or Chris Savary in the quarterfinals. Could be a quarterfinal clash between Lisa Ashton and Dieter Hedman, so that could have a big say in Eleven what happens in terms of that race for not just the Grand Slam at the end of this weekend of events, but the World Championship, of course, as well. Dieter still 99. in the hunt. But Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick have, of course, shared the four titles so far between them. 100. Yeah, it's going to be tough now, mate, isn't it, for, for any of the other ladies to get close now. Yeah, I think Dieter would need a win to really put herself into contention going into the, the weekend in Barnsley at the back end of next month. If you are just subscribing on a event pass or a weekend pass at PDC TV, don't forget other subscription options are available and there is plenty of darts next month, including that women's series in Barnsley that comes at the end of three days of players' championship action. 43. Certainly value for money. Well, Chrissy Manley seems to have found that red zone very nice here. She'll switch down now. 139. 60, 11, ton, 1-2-1-1-3-9. To leave 70 after only 15 darts, but back comes Ros Bulmer. 125. Well, that's the way to fight back after a shaky start to a leg, isn't it? 71 points amassed in just in the first two visits, but then she's on 70 oh, after yep. nine more darts. Now she wants tops. 50. She'll half expect to come back, but nothing's certain. 105. All she can do is tidy up, Ross. Six very good darts. One, two, five, and a 105 to leave tops. But will she come back? There's the marker. There's the double. Two nil to Chrissy Manley. I think she ought to start thinking to herself, start leaving double ten and not tops. Chrissy Manley, just to show you how these... This pair have fared over the course of the weekend. Chrissy Manley is 20th on the order of merit. There are a handful of players that haven't picked up any money, but Manley is doing all right. Certainly doing all right in this match. Ros Bulmer is eighth, so it would be seen as a bit of a scalp, this, wouldn't it, for Manley? 43. I think the difference, perhaps, for Chrissy in this, in comparison to, to Ros playing someone... For example, in Denise Cassidy, who's on the same amount of money as Chrissy Manley, is that Manley's been a relentless winner in years gone by. So she knows what it takes to get over the line when she's playing well. 60. Yeah, the great thing about Chrissy is, I know full well chatting with Peter and Chrissy, obviously, that she's been practising. She's been getting herself ready for it. You know, she's one, of, she's one of those people that's a spoiler. You know she's capable of doing it because she's done it so many times before, 95. Chris. And um, I like that. I like that. You sit back a little bit on your laurels and think, yeah, well, you've had your day. You're going to get punished because this is what she's capable of doing and she used to do it 99. over and over and over again. Since that first leg, which she pinched for Frost Bulmer. She's been rather dominant. 180. Although that 180 really does put the cat among the pigeons. Yep. 19s now. 69 remaining. Uh, 69 left. Just lost a train of thought there. Check with the referee. It was the right thing to do. Gets the treble. Double six. 82. Oh, that would have been marvellous in response to a maximum. Thank you. Sorry. Game shot. Well, I still tidy up there from Ros Bulmer. I think Chrissy, where she's been away for so long, had actually forgot that she can actually ask the referee what's left. Richard Davis up there. 
41. But every single leg in this match has been won on double 10. All of them because double top has been missed. 66. But that 180, well, that took some doing from Ros Bulmer to leave 40 when she was so far behind in that leg. Well, if Chrissy had hit that double six, that would have been an absolute crippler there for Ros Bulmer. But she didn't, and up stepped Ros, and Dooley 55. took out the 40 score that was left after that very, very good 180. 60. So, like, it's just, just stopped Chrissy in her tracks a little bit. She was starting to... Get some good scores going together, stringing some good stuff together. So 60. Ros really did need to win that leg. Yeah, one dark miss for a 3-0 lead. It just disappeared a little bit for Chrissy Manley. And it probably is the case for a player of her 30. pedigree in years gone by, of her calibre. She probably can still turn it on in runs of two or three legs, but then she can have a leg like this. In which 60. he's thrown a dozen darts and he's yet to get below 340. 85. What's in all this dart, Murph? Does it make you think to yourself, you know, Get yourself back on the practice board a bit more and get yourself off to Q school? Uh, in a word, no. 26. I had a game against my good commentary colleague, Dan Dawson, and uh, it resulted in me tearing the practice board off the wall and it hasn't gone back up yet, so... 100. I take it you didn't do very well. <laughs> Better at talking about it than playing it, like so many things in life. 140. Well, a 140 from Manley here, just to apply the pressure in a similar way to which Bulmer did in the previous leg. But it is double 10 again. It's not hit this time. 10 score. Nor is double 5. So Manley will have the opportunity here to regain that two leg cushion. Nice. Yeah. We've still got a chance. Treble 18, double 16. Might go back to 20s here. 47. Yep. Split or hit, the choice. She's going straight Game for shot. it and she's straight in it. And Bulma ties it up at two apiece. And in doing so, effectively gets a grip on this last 16 match. Amanda Harwood, the what second happened? player through to the quarterfinal. She will face Fallon Sherrick in the last eight after beating. Wales as Chris Savary 4-1. Lisa Ashton 3-2 up on Margaret 100. Sutton. Tracy Davis and Dieter Hedman tied at two apiece. Kirsty Hutchinson leads Trina Gulliver 3-1. And then the matches between Courtney Hyde and Lorraine Hyde and Anastasia Dobromislova and Laura Turner are in their early stages. Eighty-five. They won many a, a big title over the years, as we've been mentioning. 24. Chrissy Manley, including events like the Belgium Open, the Canadian Open, one in Norway, Sweden, the Welsh Open 85. back in the year 2000 as well, when she was at the top of the game. She won the British Internationals four times in five years. It's around the turn of the millennium. When you were just a kid, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Yeah, she's had a great career as Chrissy Manley. And you know what? Fine. It's not over yet. She's still there competing. Yep. The 
It certainly has been more than competitive so far. 80. Yeah, good tidy leg this one, Chrissy. I was just going to put the pressure on there, though, on this 70 for Chrissy. So she's got to take it out, I feel. Double top. 50. Well, she has pulled all the darts at double top low in this match. Well, double four now. Game shot. And she finds it. And it's a turnaround for Ros Bulmer, who, having trailed the match 2 0, now leads it 3 2 and is one away from a place in the quarterfinals for the second time this weekend. 125. Best run we've seen from Ros Bulmer in a big event was the World Trophy in 2018. She got to the semi finals. 45. Was beaten by Fallon Sherrick, who went on to win the tournament. That was when Fallon was kind of threatening the form that was still to 45. come. 45. Little did we know what she'd go on to achieve, but she averaged 90 and a half in that semi final win and went on to average 94 in that final against Lorraine Wynn Stanley. 54. Well, I must admit. Mentioning the rain, I'm surprised she's not a little bit further up in the order of merit. 60. 17th after going out in the first round of this event, after five events. Yeah, she'll be 81. very disappointed with that. Knowing that she's more than capable to compete with all of the ladies here. And push Six. on to win events. Lisa Ashton is now through to the quarterfinals. She's beaten Margaret Sutton 4-2. Kirsty Hutchinson also there. A 4-1 win for her against Trina Gulliver. 67. That keeps the, the gap in this race for top sport from the six events. And that Grand Slam qualification place between Fallon Cherrick and Lisa Ashton at exactly 100. 350 pounds. But remember, a potential meeting with Dieter Hedman for Lisa in the quarterfinals could change that. A potential final meeting between Six. the pair of them could change that. Manly here looking for all the ones. Yep. It is 111, I assure you. 48. 48 off it leaves 63. Bulmer on 194 here. 60. So Manley has choices. Treble 13, perhaps. Treble 17, maybe. She gets the treble yep. 17. Missed a crucial dart at this target earlier on. And she's missed again, but this time Bulmer is in need of a big finish. 134. Well, it's on. Oh, she stayed up there. Yep. 80. Not bad, I suppose. It was a good marker, so she'd have still had a dart then at double seven. Game shot. But Chrissy Manley pins double six. We're going all the way. Threes each. Yeah, nice show of sportswomanship between the pair of them. 100. Before this deciding leg. Little fist bump and on we go. Bulmer has the darts. Sixty. It's been a, an intriguing watch, hasn't it? Because neither player seems to have crumbled under the pressure, backed away. Six. They both fought hard for this, and whoever loses will just feel that they've been beaten by. Either a bit of luck or the better opponent. 100. Share the same scores in the first couple of visits. Both of one score of 60 and one of 100. That's the first really 82. wayward dart, but she corrects it excellently. 
100. It's funny watching Chrissy play because I've known her so many years to be commentating on this match. 85. She's just not giving anything away, is she? No sign of emotion or anything. She's just getting on with the job in hand. One hundred. You do meet Chrissy away from the hockey. She is a, a lovely bubbly person, isn't she? But she's a picture of concentration and focus. And dare I say it, a slight tad of aggression that you need as a darts player. Yeah, very much so. One four one here. This would be a classic shot. Just gonna try and set yeah. it up now. Sixty one left with one dart in the hand. Might go twenty five and ball. Eighty nine. It's okay, still left with a two data, but she's got a hope that Roz doesn't take out this 102. Treble 14. Can't be found, so Manley will get match start. 49. Five. Yeah. Well, how many will she get? Only a five to her disgust. She does only get one, and it's at a double that she struggled on in this match. 32. And once again, it's low, and now it's Bulmer's turn. Same target, Game shot different outcome, and it was a hard fought fight between Chrissy Manley and Ros Bulmer, but double top could not be found by Manley in the end, and Bulmer made her pay.